Revelio. Akio Send it. Let me also. Akio. Let me also. Rebellion. Mm. Behind the rock. Yeah, go outside in front of the little camp it. Then do your little, you know, that little force fill you do. Revenue. Search the area. They'll tell you. They'll be right underneath the rock you gotta do fire towards. Wrong side. Further side. Yeah. All right, when you go, look at the camp, when you first go in, it'll be on your left. Yeah, it'll be close to that platform. Yeah, they're always close to the platforms. Just go to the empty platform, do your little spell, and it'll locate it for you. Revelio. Revelio. Incendio. Akio. Mm -hmm. You feel dumb as hell, don't you? What's that? that?
Mine's black. Mine's all black. I don't like the fucking zombies. <laughs> They're level fucking 14. Yeah. And I fought, I insta killed one of them because I snuck up on them. And the other ones I barely did any damage to. Rebellion. I'm doing a puzzle. You, I can show you the puzzle I'm doing. I showed you the puzzle I'm doing. I gotta get all of them out. Fuck. Yeah. And whenever I do wrong one, they all go right back in. Ah, Scrope. Who is Scrope? Oh god, there's ones on each side. Rebellion. Accio. Ah, oh, bloody hell. Pumpkins. Ah, oh, I think I know just the place. I have no idea.
Revelio. I just grave robbed. Accio. Down to the water's edge. Hmm. This had better not be a trick. Rebellio. Thank you for coming all this way. The name's Scrope. Scrope serves the headmaster. I've been in the Black family for years. Apologies for the abundance of notes. Scrope wanted to be sure you weren't followed. What's this all about? Your notes mention the book I found in the restricted section. Scrope can tell you more in exchange for your help, but no one, especially the headmaster, can know. Happy to help, especially if you can shed light on the book. Scrope is grateful. Scrope's late mistress, Apollonia Black, may she rest in peace, was a student at Hogwarts uh, over 50 years ago. Before she died, she spoke with passion of pages ripped from a book. Scrope suspects she took them to her private grotto. She was delirious at the end, poor thing. Mistook Belladonna for elderberries. <laughs> Scrope tried to warn her. I'm sorry to hear that. But how do you benefit if I find the pages? Scrope believes that a treasured Black family ring is also in the grotto. Scrope wishes to give it to the headmaster. Apollonia forbade Scrope from entering the grotto long ago. Scrope continues to honor her wishes. Scrope would not dare ask a student for help. But when Scrope learned you were looking for those pages, Scrope thought you might also find the ring. How did you know that I'd found a book and that it's missing pages? Scrope and the other house elves are good at staying out of sight. Scrope hears and sees many things in the castle. Scrope knows how to keep secrets. Tell me more about this treasured ring. It's adorned with the Black family crest. The headmaster would be pleased with Scrope for returning it. How did you injure your ear? The Blacks have a tradition of decapitating their house elves when their service is no longer required. One day, dear Apollonia was understandably frustrated with Scrope and got a bit too eager with a cleaver. Scrope was able to convince the sweet girl of his value and now views this small injury as a reminder of her good heart. It seems this may help us both. Um, I shall do it. Scrope is relieved. Scrope hoped the young Slytherin would be willing to help. Town feels sorry for to the grotto, now. Just down the coast. Down. And place it on the pedestal there. Good luck. I think Anne had it worse. Scrope will wait right here for you. And best of luck finding your pages. And the ring. Oh, wanna know what happened to him? Or do you wanna wait until you do this? Because I'm making this up. Akio! Give you a shot! Give you a shot! Incendio!